Hello and welcome aboard the USS Voyager. Today you're going to be serving as the right wing officer. As a right wing officer, it is your duty to navigate the ship and deal with most internal operations. The first step is going to be to log into our helm station. Move your mouse and click on the blue icon that is in the very middle part of the screen. When you do this, you'll see that several options appear. Click the button that says Access Terminal. After you click Access Terminal, a prompt will appear asking you to enter your full name. Pause your tape until you have done this. Now that we have entered our full name, hit the OK button. We've now logged into our station. You'll see that several new buttons have appeared, including Run Diagnostic, Lockout Terminal, Access Terminal, Logout User, and Reset Terminal. You'll never need to use any of these unless another officer tells you to, so don't worry about them. From this point on, you'll need to access the menu to access other screens. This is very important as you'll be using this quite often, so if this part is confusing to you, please ask a staff member. All you have to do is move your mouse up to the very top right part of the screen. After you move your mouse up to the very top right, you'll see that several options appear. We're going to click on the option that says Engine Control. Now that we click Engine Control, our screen has changed. Over here, we can see the impulse speed and the warp speed. Down here, we can control what speed we're actually going. Over here, we can monitor the heat levels of each engine. And down here, we can control the docking. Now, if we want to go different speeds, the captain can give us an order to go full impulse. So to do that, we're going to move our mouse down here and click on the button that says full impulse. Now when we do this, we see that up here, this yellow bar has moved up to the 1. Now what if the captain ordered us to go warp speed 2? So we're going to move over here and hit warp 2. Now you'll see that we're getting this flashing error right here that says insufficient power. That's because we don't actually have enough power to go to warp 2. The green line indicates how much power we have in each system. So, right now, the fastest we can go is warp speed 1. Now, if you wanted to add more power to a system, all you'd have to do is tell the left wing officer. The left wing officer sits directly across you from the bridge. Now, don't talk to them right now because they are training. But what you do is just say, can you put more power into the warp engine so that I can go warp speed 4? No, they will know what that means and they'll put more power into the engine so that you can go warp 4. Sometimes they'll take power out of your system though because power is scarce on our ship. Over here we have our coolant control. We can hit request coolant and when we do this an alert will go across the room to our left wing officer who will be told to flush some coolant or sorry add some coolant to us. After we get some coolant and these green boxes down here we can hold down flush coolant and that will cool down the systems. Alternatively we can stop the ship to cool down the engines. Down here is our docking control. We have four buttons. One to open the airlock doors extend the boarding ramps, attach to the docking clamps, and raise or lower the landing legs. The very specific order that you have to go in is airlocks, boarding ramps, and docking clamps. That is all for this screen. If you have any questions, please raise your hand and ask a staff member now. Otherwise, move your mouse all the way to the very top and click thrusters. Thrusters are how we move our ship in minor adjustments. We have our yaw, pitch and roll thrusters, as well as our forward, reverse, port, star, up and down thrusters. The very top three thrusters, our yaw, pitch, and roll, control how we turn our ship. They do not actually move the ship, they only change the direction it's pointed at. We have our yaw, which moves our ship this way. As well as our pitch, which moves the ship up and down. And lastly, we have our roll, which rotates the ship like this. Now sometimes the computer will request that we change our uh, yaw pitch or roll to avoid weapons fire or move on a new course. When we do this we see that the red dots move. You will have to line up the white dot with the red dot. After we do this our ship is now aligned on a new course or aligned to dodge the weapons fire. Down here we have our forward, reversed, port and starboard thrusters. To move the ship forward you will pull this forward. As we can see over here an arrow points in the direction that the ship is moving. To move the ship in reverse, you would hold down the reverse thrusters. Port and star are a fancy way of saying left and right. Pulling the thrusters to the port side will move the ship left, and pulling the thrusters to the starboard side will move the ship right. An easy way to remember this is port is four letters and left is four letters. So port is for left and starboard is for right. 
Over here we also have our up and down thrusters. You can hold down the up thrusters and that will move the ship up, or you can hold down the down thrusters and that will move the ship down. You can come here to dodge weapons fire. If there is ever an event where we need to dodge weapons fire, it is up to you to move the ship to dodge them. You can coordinate with the captain's sensors officer to know which way you should dodge. Or you can also just move in attack patterns that you know. If you don't know any attack patterns, you can also move in random maneuvers. For example, if I know a torpedo is coming towards the ship, I can pull hard on the starboard. When we do this, our ship will move. Now as the torpedo gets closer, I can quickly move port. And hopefully the torpedo will miss us. Sometimes we need to move our ship using our thrusters. This can be used to navigate through a nebula, or an orc cloud, or an asteroid field. That is all for this screen. If you have any questions, please pause your tape and raise your hand. That is all actually for the helm station, so we're going to move over to the next station, which is on your right.